hello guys um uh, welcome back to my channel mm. uh, this is fungi fungi microorganisms part three uh let's start uh we can talk about fungi today on the list you have types of fungus you have many types of fungus mm, they can either be microscopic or macroscopic microscopic are some rhizopus is basically bread mold and macroscopic is like big uh, which can see it with naked eyes and uh, my microscope is like mushroom and moss and etc we have microscopic multicellular and unicellular but we don't but in macroscopic you only have multicellular fungi Let's get into more detail about fungus. Picture time. Yeah, picture time. This is how, this is how the rhizopus or the bread mold looks like. But listen to me carefully, okay? It's going to be real hard and we're going to get get over it. The big the big thing ball right here is called the sporangium. There's spores in there. The that's how it reproduces. A fungus fungus reproduces by like sexually. So uh, the spores like this, it's like the seeds they form this bread and then uh, give rise to new rhizopus uh, the long string like structure like you can see here this long stem thing this is called the mycelium and inside the mycelium called, called hyphae and uh, a group of hyphae is called the mycelium and there's actually like a big 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 uh, like this one right there like a big straight line attaching the rhizopus to the bread mold uh, that's called the stolon it's called the stolon and uh, if you have roots for these uh, rhizopus to like hold it together to, to the bread mold those are called the rhizoid rhizoids okay i hope you did if you didn't understand this one please go watch to the uh, video again uh what type of nutrition they acquire they acquire subtrophic nutrition that means that they decay they feed on dead or decaying animals and plants that's how they get their nutrition from they also lack chlorophyll that means they don't have any chlorophyll and there are symbiotic relationships to algae and the fungi are in symbiotic relationships so both the so both are symbiotic relationships basically both organisms are benefited like if a fungi and the algae, like algae provides food to this and fungi provides shelter, something like that. So yeah. And sorry for that. Yeah, so please subscribe. I'll credit Google for the pictures I took and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please click the like button if you liked, if you buy button if you feel I did better. Share, share if you like. <clears throat> if you like the video, like it. If you don't like the video, dislike it. If you if you did if you think I did better, please share it. And also don't forget to subscribe and put down in the comments what I did not do better. Until then, goodbye. I'll meet, I'll meet you guys in the next video. I uh, found viruses, I think. No, let's talk about protozoa. It's actually very interesting.